Thank you for joining us today for the Disaster Recovery and Message Continuity Tutorial for Administrators. This video will explain the basic functionality of the Disaster Recovery and Message Continuity products and make suggestions about complementary configurations at the email client level. Let's get started. Because of the nature and method of the core filtering service, connectivity to the customer network is constantly monitored. A five-day storage-only disaster recovery service will spool or queue up email in the event SMTP connectivity to the customer network is lost. This is included with the core filtering product. DR can be in a state of spooling indefinitely, and as messages age into their sixth day, they expire and are bounced back to the sender. The message continuity product adds the ability to access and interact with your email via a webmail client and extends the email retention time frame of DR from 5 to 60 days. The message continuity interface only becomes active and available when the DR service is in a state of spooling. Disaster recovery and message continuity are administered from the disaster recovery setup page. This page allows you to monitor the status of current email flow, test connectivity to the target mail servers, and manage configuration settings and notifications. The status area provides a written description and graphic animation reflecting the current status of inbound email flow, whether email is routing normally or is being spooled because connectivity to the target mail server has been lost. You can test connectivity by using the test connectivity button here. After a few moments, a message will appear giving you the results of the test. If the test indicates failure, the message will provide a brief explanation. The Configuration Settings section allows you to manipulate the flow of email automatically or manually, the default being automatic. When using this setting, the system will begin to automatically spool messages when connectivity is lost and begin to automatically unspool messages when connectivity is restored. The amount of downtime required for automatic spooling can be configured here. Use the manual setting to force spooling in the event of planned maintenance. This setting also allows manual unspooling in cases where restored connectivity to the server has been personally confirmed by using the Test Connectivity button. Whenever unspooling manually, remember to return to the automatic setting to ensure protection in the event of a subsequent outage. If the account is provisioned for message continuity, the checkbox here gives administrators a way to easily allow or restrict access for users. This can be overridden by the Policy section here. This policy also allows you to configure how message continuity behaves when spooling stops. Back to the DR setup page. The final section is notifications. This provides notifications for up to four recipients for when the system automatically spools and begins and completes unspooling messages. Remember to avoid entering email addresses that would be affected by any disaster recovery event. Turning now to message continuity. When the DR system spools messages, either through automatic or manual means, inbound messages will collect in each user's message continuity inbox. Users can access that inbox at the same web console URL used by administrators of the account. There are several options for authentication, including access through the Spam Quarantine Report. For details, please refer to the Core Filtering Tutorial for Users and the Authentication Tutorial for Administrators. If you are using external authentication like LDAP, passwords are cached from the last user login. If users have never logged in and there is a problem reaching that authentication server, you will need to switch to password authentication and manually establish passwords for those users to access message continuity. In order for users to manage all their accounts from one login, the correct domain and user alias association must be established. You can modify user alias association here. Contact the support team to modify domain alias associations. Administrators can impersonate user access to message continuity here. Once authenticated, users are presented with an intuitive webmail interface where they can view incoming messages, reply to, forward, and compose new messages during an outage. In the event that messages are queued on behalf of recipients that do not have a user account set up in the system, those messages are collected in a centralized mailbox for non-local accounts. Administrators can access that mailbox here. Whether for local or non-local accounts, messages will remain in this interface until connectivity to the target mail server is restored. When connectivity is restored, 
messages queued and composed within message continuity will unspool to each respective user's inbox. The following message statuses are appended to the message subject. Read, indicating that the message was read while in MC mode. Deleted, indicating that the message was deleted while in MC mode. Sent, indicating that the message was sent while in MC mode. Email rules can be created within your client to automatically route deleted and sent items to their proper folder and for read items to appear as read. This concludes the disaster recovery and message continuity tutorial for administrators. If you have questions or need additional information, please consult the online help within each page or contact the support team.